All right. I need an extreme close up of this clapper. Ow, ow. Splitting a headache. I Was can't do it? this anymore. Let's try that again. I'm out. This is, this is breaking. What I broke Clappy. Fun. Clappy, come back. Um, yeah. Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Thursday sit rep <laughs> episode of Brick Mania TV. I'm Slam. I'm Amanda. Yeah, and we're here with the exciting new releases for this week. Indeed. Indeed. Um, Indeed. We we've have. got a couple of tan kits. <laughs> we do. We have, we have tan kits. We tan have a lot kits. of tan this week, guys. It's been a very dry year. Um, but this right here is a universal carrier mm -hmm. designed by Andreas. Indeed. And this ships tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So no pre-sales on this. This is just the universal carrier on. you need for your collection. Anyway, because this is an Andreas kit, we're going to kick things over to him and let him walk us through it. Hey guys, this is Andreas reporting from the design studio in Oslo, where I work remotely for Brickmania, putting out new designs. This is where I have my setup, I got the parts, uh, and I have a new design for you today. So check it out. Today I have a prototype for you guys. This is the Universal Carrier. So this is a classic kit. If you don't know what the classic series is, we're bringing back old designs, uh, giving them new life, updating some of the parts. Uh, so this is the Universal Carrier. It's been one of the staple Rickmania kits for a, for a very long time. Dan used to do this all the time back in the day. We haven't done this in a while, especially not in tan. So it's very exciting for me to bring you guys this classic design. So mainly I'm building off older designs, but I like to add some new parts as well, especially the color swapping. Now it's all in tan. Uh, we got some new printed parts for you guys. The print, the wheel on the back here is gonna be printed uh, just like the, the real thing. It has a lot of details here. Uh, there's a new headlight a print. There's a new box print. This is just a prototype, but look at the renders if you wanna see the full design. And it comes with a sticker sheet that is super exciting uh, because you get some detail here, uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, text, you get a flag. Uh, and you get different insignias for uh, different uh, units. So uh, we did a lot of the Commonwealth units. You have the Canadian one, you have the uh, British one, you have the Australian one, New Zealand one. Uh, there might be some more, uh, but that's very exciting being able to bring all of these to you guys. Some new features added. I added the radio antenna and we have a clip on the inside here, just like the real thing. So if you have an SMLE or a Sten gun or any other British weaponry, you can add that. There's room for a driver in here, there's room for a gunner in here, and you have room for probably two guys in each of, of these seats. Uh, and you also get with the kit two uh, British uh, desert rats. And also on the back here, this is uh, a storage unit and if you get some of the sticker packs you can easily add some more British boxes so that that is sold separately we have some uh, sticker sticker packs for British boxes to really fill out this kit so very exciting uh, dropping on Friday if this is not a pre-order you can get this right now so hope you guys enjoy it this is the new Universal Carrier Classic Series uh, this is a this is a Brickmania classic kit, so it features yes. real simple art on the minifigs yeah, by you. Yeah, we got uh, a couple of desert rats hanging out, um, doing their thing. Uh, brand new art. Uh, this art has leg printing as well. Eh, oh dear, what have I done? Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, front and back printing. Uh, we got shorts, so we got nice little short printing there on the front and back. Some some great socks. Um, yeah, nice, nice, simple, long simple pouches. Figs. Classic Br yeah. Brickmania fig. Yeah, um, very classic. I love the Brickmania choice for classic British faces. Yeah, it's yeah, a good. It's a good. my favorite classic figs. So this one, well, and a fun fact: uh, this is not the face that you get with the standalone guy. Uh, uh, standalone. standalone guy. Oh, he I is thought also I available face. and shipping to tomorrow morning. Yep, yep. tomorrow morning uh, comes with the SMLE. Nice and uh, the Brody helmet, and he's got the classic Cheeks face, and this one is exclusive to the kit. 
Um, it's got a nice little dirty uh, face, little little dirty romp. He's the younger of the two. And that's how I look at it. Yeah. Okay. Well, a little scuffed up. <laughs> a little scuffed up. Seen some action. Yeah. Um, and as it's a classic kit, it only comes with stickers. Mm -hmm. But I gave you enough stickers on this kit to do any of your UK forces. You can do your Aussies and your Kiwis and your Canadians. Oh, sweet. So you, three. I, I knew about two of them. Oh. And and the standard British. Yeah. Right. So that's four out of four. Yeah. Eighty-five. UK <laughs> uh, countries and Slime, territories. Slime, you have a few more um, you missed. Yeah, I, I actually was looking hard at doing South Africa. Oh, that'd and be cool. That wouldn't be cool, but that's right. But next anyways. time, there's always more. There's always right. the future. Now that I've got like the plat and uh, like this desert rats, there's also mm -hmm. like the platypus core. They have a little platypus symbol. I'm yeah, very anyways. disappointed we haven't done that because then I can be like, look, it's Perry the platypus. Anyway, okay. um, so yeah, yeah. So there's that one. Um, and then also for mm -hmm. your British Desert Forces, we've got this QF-16 pounder? Six. Six. QF-6 six six pounder. pounder Anti-tank gun. Uh, it's an older model of cannon that they just kept updating and updating from the 1900 all the way through World War II. Stoops, I know we've uh, done several versions of it. I mean, we've done a lot over the years. Yeah. So this is a very common gun in use by the Brits in World War II. Yeah. It's, it's a nice kit. Yeah. It's a nice design. Looks good. Fit a mock really well. Mm -hmm. Be a good one. That's what you need. So there you go. Cool. So those things are both coming out tomorrow morning, uh, plus fig, uh, plus a standalone uh, classic fig, and, and also, also the torso. Torsos are coming back. Yeah, we 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 were able every once in a while we're able to get enough uh, room uh, on the project list. It sounds like to be able to put some torsos on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, the desert rat torso. Um, slight difference um, from. The full fig, obviously, besides legs um, and the head and all that jazz, um, the biggest difference is the pouches don't uh, cross down onto the hips for yeah. obvious reasons. Okay. So they are a little different, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, the one every, on the, the back is all the same. The one on the left is much shorter. He, you're right. <laughs> um, this is this is the after the battle. <laughs> and moving on. Uh, yes. Next, we got this guy. Hey, it's a KFC 250. So this is, was a pre-order um, many weeks ago. It is shipping out tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we might still have some of these available in stores. I maybe, don't maybe, know if we have maybe. any online. I don't know. Check online, have to look. see if there's some available. But definitely the stores will be getting some tomorrow. Or and it's classic, soon. so it will come back eventually. Uh, New here, soldier. Little, little soldier, no pouches. He's the driver. I think this is the first time he's been uh, he's been shown. Um, so yeah, just nice, simple. Very Simple, classic. Clean cut uniform. Clean cut. Nothing much going on with him. He's still he's still angry though. He's still got his angry eyes. Classic classic villain face. Yep. yep. So yeah, there you go. If you've been paying attention, you may have noticed we've put out a line of minifigures called the Figures of History. Indeed. That we do in conjunction with a friend of Val Valor Stu oh. Who's the author? Uh, well I know the author. Valor Studios is who we're doing this in conjunction with. Oh, it's not necessarily one author. Because it's, it's Adam Makos yes. is who we're working with with these. And this is actually written by Sid Phillips, who is the Marine oh. in question. Oh, um, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. So um, I've been, I've talked a little bit about these before, but I've been really, really enjoying these because I get to sit and read for a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And this was a fun read. This was um, the book he published and did himself. So it's uh, this, Sid Phillips. This is a Autobiography, though. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much so. It's stories from his time there. Um, okay. And he was a Marine, uh, World War II, signed up at 17, and uh, oh, right after Pearl Harbor, I want to say. Very common story. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very common. Um, and the book uh, goes into kind of a little bit of his training and uh, his time in some of the different uh, battles out there um, and, and talks a lot of just about day to day life, obviously. Um, some really good stories. Um, one of my Ones that kind of made me giggle out loud, and he he puts a lot of humor in this. Or he tries, you know, serious topic. Obviously, he tries to though. Um, he talks uh, about it, even saying it's like you know, trying to keep things light and having fun, even though it's a tough situation just to survive. Um, but one of the things he talks about is he and uh, another uh, soldier were on the head in the boat on the way to um, uh, where they were going, and <laughs> and they usually announced when they were doing test firings. Hmm. And this was the one in the front um, of the ship, and they didn't. And so the cannons were right above them. Whatever they were firing off was right above them. 
and they both just like flew off the toilet head and ran out. <laughs> Everyone had a good laugh apparently, and it was a funny story. Um, anyway, there you go, a little randomness. But there was a lot of a lot of really cool moments in the book. Um, and uh, so yeah, so then I got to design the fig, obviously. And uh, I actually went back and forth with Adam Makos, who is in touch with the families. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is stuff that they want, you know, make sure he's happy because no one wants to remember their loved ones sad and angry. Uh, so he's got a nice, you know, his, his classic smile, which you see in the, uh, in the pictures in the book. They have photographs of him. And he's in just his very Pacific, uh, very, hmm, very traditional Pacific garb, um, including I, I put some rips and tears in there because one of, you know, that, that they didn't last long. No. Um, you can also find Sid Phillips in the Pacific uh, miniseries. Ah. He's one of the main characters in that. Oh, cool. So that comes with mortar because he was in the mortar crew. Yep. Comes with uh, brick arm shell. Yep. A little brick belt mortar. And it comes with a book, correct? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Comes with the book. So this is, so, it uh, comes with that as well. It's all one package, everything you see here. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's, it's a light read. It's fun. Yeah. Definitely suggest it. It's a good one. Yeah. I highly recommend like jumping on the figures of history train if you're not already on the train. Super yes. flexible, super cool, super detailed. More um, coming. And it's really great to be able to work with specific people and estates to get mm -hmm. Definitely. Know, accurate minifigs. Yep. Yeah. We get to send cool. them some minifigs. And yeah. So it's good Feels stuff. Good. So there you go. Oh, what else is on our episode? Announcements. Announcements. We have an announcement. Bricks in the Sand part two is almost done um we will have it shipping out very soon um it's a little bit delayed but not horrifically long so just give us another couple of days we've been busy it's still christmas yeah another little bit of a time yeah so yeah. it's on its way folks it's on its way um everything in this book is from the iraq war period yep so as a follow-up to bricks and sand part one which would make sense sense. yes because helps with the name it's always great if you do a war twice <laughs> I was uh, thinking part two, part one, but that's cool. Okay. So, uh, yes, Bricks and Sand part two. Uh, we announced it and pre-sold copies of that last week. Uh, yep. We are working hard on it. Yep. It's, it's getting there. It's going to be a good book. Um, first yeah. one in a while. It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a since few years since we put an instruction book. It's been a while. Book. Um, um, because we did digital instructions. This is a paper instruction book, everybody. Just yeah. to be clear. Pa yes, paper. Like printed, in your hand. Yep. Spiral bound. Mm -hmm. Big sticker sheet. That's what I'm working on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Got, uh, yeah it will be good. Uh, so a few more announcements. Okay. Um, at this point, we can't guarantee new orders will arrive before Christmas. So if you're ordering now, if you're like me and do everything last minute, um, make your way to a Brickmania store, and that might be the only way you're going to get it before Christmas. Right. Um, yes. Otherwise, they'll come a little bit after. You know, do the thing where you print a picture, put it in a little thing, put it in a bigger box, and that box in a bigger box, make them really excited. Dear fellow procrastinators, time has run out. <laughs> time has run out. You can still buy st order stuff from us. It will come after Christmas. Yep. Get creative with your with your present making. Yep. yep. Um, Brickmania stores still an excellent option. Um, yes. Find a friend if you're not local. Maybe their shipping will get to you first. I doubt it. Doubtful. Um, stores will be open normal hours from now until Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, on Christmas Eve, stores close at 3 p.m. Okay. And then stores will be closed for Christmas. So. Fellow procrastinators, you have until 3 to get yourself into a store <laughs> on Christmas Eve. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So head, on, head to the store. If you jump in the car now, most of you <laughs> living far away will probably get to a store before that time. You can drive. To Washington, <laughs> D.C. Um, or yourself. Minnesota. I mean, if you're in North Dakota, that's a totally, no, you know, you can make that happen. Canada. There's a lot of places. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> can we be done, Mr. Wizard? <laughs> all right, Brick Maniacs. Uh, that's all we have um, that, that I have been told to say. So until next week, take it easy. This has been fun. <laughs> we'll see you next week. What is it the old uh, old anchors do? Until next week, God bless and take care of each other. No? <laughs> Try to think of like those old outs. I'm I'm done. I want to be done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done.